In round two of Strategic, I had the pleasure of taking on two Nothrog at once. Starting off with the 2v1, I knew the odds were against me. My opponents were O Eagle, running Skyrax, and Bubbles with Bershar Nin. Although I lost initiative, I still went every other action because of the 2v1 rules. They both had the same starting army, running Gunda and Kinag. Skyrax also had a Brine Fiend from some loot from the previous round. As for me, I still had Mitraz and Winty starting. I had two Redo Car, a Redo Tam, Redo Faram, and a Copus of Namik in my opening hand, so I had plenty of characters and was able to bolster my ranks. I was hoping this would be an advantage for me, having to fight off two armies at once, having more characters to hold ranks, but as you'll see later in the video, their strategy was more so to jump over the top of my army, so it ended up not mattering that much. The two of them went back and forth drawing tons of cards, with Meat at the Inn, Cargreg, Portable Hole, Loyalty's Reward, and even the Lost Bride out of Bersharn Inn. I drew another Redo for Ram and a Nisrock off their Meat at the Inns. I worked on building up my army, spending back Redo Tam to have a multi-hit point and planar wall in the back. I moved up the other Redo for Ram, causing Nisrock to fall. I knew their combo focused on Serene and Karachiguk, but I forgot that Serene provided a whole attack and not just a single strike. Once they hit their combo pieces, I realized I made a big mistake spending up both Ferams, and unfortunately had to ready one and move it back a rank. Once I had played out most of my hand, they had drawn enough cards to take several more actions while I sat idle and passed. They had similar character bases, but Skyrax was the one who drew his Serene and Karachiguk early. Bershar Nin played plenty of characters too, with other big threats like Covet Tree Razor. Skyrax equipped a couple more items in Nodwick, Robe of Eyes, and Wand of Negation. I tried to back alley tavern off Robe of Eyes, but Bershar Nin played a burn the inn against me. After one more meet at the inn, I was able to draw a portable hole and equip it on Princess, but it was quickly blanked by Skyrax using Wand of Negation. After Skyrax equipped a King's Lady on Karachiguk, he used Serene to swing on Faram and Tam, missing his last strike due to Tam's planer. After that, all players passed. Turn 2 was incredibly short. I put a Great Axe on Redo Tam, hoping that if his planer was able to survive the Karachigek Onslaught, I could take the combo offline. Unfortunately, he hit even on the first roll, and was able to hit and kill Princess in rank 3 on the second swing. I could have reacted with Copus for a strike on Karachigek, but the game was over so there was really no point. Although I'm disappointed I couldn't take out at least one of them, I can't say I'm surprised with the results. I knew going into this game what their combo was, which is why I moved Tam back to begin with. I knew I had to keep it relatively mistake free, which didn't happen. Moving up for Ram was just a misplay by me, as was letting Princess sit in the third rank instead of moving up to the second, moving her even further out of reach from the Karachiguk. I still give big props to the Nothrog team for coming up with this combo and having decks that are consistently solid.